Welcome to the second part of the Julian OP Portrait Maker. The first thing I'm going to do now is start making the nose and the mouth. You can see that the mouth, in these photos we're going to make sure that people aren't smiling and then we're going to use the joining of the, the bottom lip and the top lip as a single line. Next we're just going to go around the base of the nose here because you can see that Matthew's face is Kind of just dipping down, or the camera is just slightly, it's just slightly above the eye line, and so we only see the, the base of the nose. We don't actually see the nostrils. Here we're going to do quite a bit of zooming in and using the eraser tool because we need to feather the edges or just sort of taper them down. You can see that the ends get slightly sort of thinner. So I'm just going to zoom in and use uh, a small eraser and just make these slightly pointy. And zoom back out. It's a bit like sort of standing away from the screen when we zoom out, just to make sure things just look relatively normal. And that's quite I'm quite happy with that. Making sure I'm still in the correct layer. What I'm going to do now is use the brush tool. So I'm going to click on the brush tool because we're going to do the eyes, and the, the eyes are only one single drop of the brush. So you can see. It. I've matched the size of the brush, which is about size 40 to 45, depending on how close the photo is. Then I'm going to use size 1 or 2, and I'm going to use white. And the reason I'm going to use white is for the reflection of the light in the actual, in the pupil of the eye. So we give some cartoon-esque uh, look to the eyes, and just make them st stop looking like black holes basically and there's some realism to the eye. Next I'm going to do the eyebrows and that will be in part 3.